exercise, identity. What does it really mean for an instance value to have its own identity? Exercise. Create a variable for my plans. Initialize to a string describing your evening plans. Create a second variable for friend plans, but initialize it to my plans. Your friend takes less initiative than you at planning. Below the declaration of friend plans, update my plans by using the addition operator to add one more activity. Check the values of my plans and friend plans. Are they the same or different? So first thing I'm making a variable my plans and assigning it a string. Going out with friends to get ramen. Then I'm making a second variable friend plans. And that's just getting whatever my plans is. Below that, I am updating my plans to get the current value of my plans plus another string. Then we will get ice cream. And then we are going to check by printing my plans. and friend plans. So we're checking both of those values. So what we're looking for here is did friend plans update because I updated my plans and it did not. So going out with friends to get ramen, then we will get ice cream is my plans printed. And going out with friends to get ramen is friend plans. And the reason for that is once you have created friend plans and assigned it this value, it's only storing the initial value. So it's not changing with my plans. It doesn't store that it came from my plans. It's just storing that initial string. So unless you change friend plans or update it under uh, the initial declaration, you aren't going to get any additional information here out of my plans. Next, exercise, create a function, add dance, that takes a string, appends a phrase about dancing like, and then we dance, or, but no dancing, according to your taste, and returns the new string. Call the add dance function, passing in my plans, and assign the result to friend plans. So we're gonna make a function, and our function name is add dance, and we, have a phrase that is going to be a string and we are returning a string. All right, so I have my parameter string and my return value also a string. And then we are, oh, just returning. And then we are adding through string interpolation our phrase. And then we dance. All right, and then we are gonna call this function so friend plans gets add dance. And then the phrase is my plans. So it's going to take my plans, which is the string we are putting in as the argument, and then adding, and then we dance. So if we print friend plans, and I forgot my parentheses. It is going to say, it's gonna think about it first. So the second time we print friend plans, it's going to say, going out with friends to get ramen, then we will get ice cream, and then we dance. So I don't need this comma. 
Let's just say then we dance. I suppose that could be one sentence. Uh, so the reason that this is updating to the ice cream portion is because I added my plans here. So it's forgetting all about what friend plans used to be and it is only grabbing what this function does. It's just resetting that. You're not adding anything to it. You are just recalculating what friend plans will be with this function. All right, next exercise. How do you expect friend plans to change? How do you expect my plans to change? So under here is actually where you are supposed to print uh, friend plans. So we already checked that, but we're also gonna print my plans. So did that update with that function? No, it did not. So my plans did not change. We do not dance in my plans, but my friend plans uh, do add dancing. So this is initial my plans, initial friend plans with just my plans changing above it. And then friend plans with this function of passing in my plans and then adding then we dance. And my plans did not change because I had used that here. 